Hi, welcome back guys. Today I am back with another new video. In this video, I will explain you about first value and last value window function. So basically in this video, I have to explain how you can use first value and last value in the SQL queries. Okay, so let's start the video. So first I have to uh, run this is my data set. So basically I have one employee table. So employee tables having total 10 records. So here you can see that I have one employee ID 1 to employee ID 10. So basically all are the unique employee ID 1 to 10. So first I have to explain you how you can use window uh, like first value and last value in the SQL query or problem solving. Okay, so I have to use select star from employees. Okay, so this is my employees table. So what happened in the first value function? So if I use first value for entire data set based on the employee ID, so I will getting the all the first value as a one. For in that case, I'll get in the first value one, two to three and 10. Uh, basically for all one to 10 records, I'll get in the first value as a one. Okay, so I have to tell you the syntax. So I have to use the first underscore value and I have to use the parenthesis and parenthesis is taking mainly one argument okay so i want to given them one argument as a employee id because i want to find the employee id as a first value and i'm using i'm using like window function so must i have to use the over clause and over clause i have to use the order by order by based on that i have to find the employee id employee underscore id and i have to as first value and this is my column name first value Okay, so what happened if I run this case, I will be getting the all the first value as a one. So here you can see that I'll get in the output first value as a one for all the records. Okay, but what happened? But I want to uh, use as a partition by suppose example, I have uh, example multiple employee as the multiple uh, like multiple employee ID, not the unique. So I want to find the based on like employee ID partition by. So what happened? Suppose example, I have to use partition by partition by employee underscore id okay so in that case uh, employee id 1 is a one partition employee id 2 is a one partition like that all the employee id as a single single partition so if i use the partition by employee id so i'll getting the employee id as a first value so if i run this query so here you can see that i'll getting the employee id as a first value because if employee id 1 this one is the one partition so first value as a one Employee ID 2 is the second partition, only one value. So I'll get in the first value as a 2. Okay. So now go with the large value. So I have to use select star from employee table, employees table. Okay. So this is my entire data set for employee ID 1 to 10. I want to search the search the large value window function. Last underscore value. And I have to use find the employee underscore ID. And I have to use like over clause, over clause, and I have to use the order by order by employee ID. Okay, so I what I get, I will get the uh, like large value as a 10 for all the records. So I have to use alias as last value. Okay, so if I run this one, so now here you can see that I will getting the all the last value as a one, two, three. But I will not getting the all the large value as a 10. But what happened in that case? Suppose I am to find the large value for the employee ID 1. So it is scanning only till uh, only employee ID 1. So it taking only employee ID 1 as a large value. So if I am here, so it did as a this one is the large value. So it given the large value as a 10. It skip all the these records. So if I am here, it is scanning only employee ID 1, 2, 3 and skip all this one. Suppose if I am here, so it skip all the this record so i'll getting the as a employee id 5 okay so how we can solve this problem so one option are there is the rows between rows between rows between is what happen i am suppose i am in here so this one is my current row so i have to give in here rows between current current rows current rows and unbounded following following means all the these records so if i am here so this one is my current row and unbounded following means this is the entire row suppose if i am here this one is my current row employee id 2 and this one is the all the following rows so i have to use here unbounded unbounded following 
unbounded following as last value so if i run this one so here you can see that i'll uh, is showing unbounded following is what happened current row current uh, current rows between current row and unbounded following so if i run so here you can see that i'll getting suppose i have to use here order by so you can understand what happened order by order by employee underscore id so if i run so now here you can see that i will get in the all the last value as a 10 so i'll getting the proper output so current row is scanning this one and all the unbounded following so i'll getting and one more option suppose you want to use the first value function you will getting the also last value so what happened in that case you have to use order by order by employee id and here i have to use only descending order order by order by an employee ID and descending so using this you can also find the last value so if i run so here you can see that i'll getting the last value as a 10 and i have to use here also order by order by employee underscore id so here you can see that i will getting the all the last value for employee id 1 last value 10 for the all the record last value as a 10 so either you can use a uh, like order by descending or other uis you can use the last value and you have to use one more condition rows between current row and unbounded following so using that you will getting the large value so uh, i hope you understand this video uh, so if you like this video please hit on the like button if you visit this channel for first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye